2023 latest. Shibuya Walking and Eating Food 10 Recommendations. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we will eat and walk around in Shibuya. We will introduce 10 kinds of food from the latest food to foods popular among people from overseas. We will introduce fluffy pancakes and gorgeous hamburgers, so please look forward to it. Now, let's get started! We have arrived at Shibuya Station. Shibuya Station is close to Shinjuku Station and takes about 6 minutes by train. From Tokyo Station, it takes about 25 minutes by train. Shibuya Station is a huge station with many lines and many passengers, but we recommend Hachiko Gate as the best exit for tourists. Right in front of the station is the famous bronze dog statue, Hachiko, and the Shibuya Scramble Crossing. We have previously uploaded a video of eating and walking in Shibuya and introduced eight restaurants. This time, we will introduce 10 dishes that we could not introduce last time. By the way, in the last video, we also introduced the symbol of Shibuya, Shibuya 109. Please check it out. Now, let's start the food tour. The first one we will be introducing is located in Miyashita Park, which was built in 2020. We will introduce two restaurants from here. The first one is this store, Miyashita Cafe plus Soft Cream. In my previous video, We introduced a cute ice cream with strawberries on top of the ice cream. This time, we will introduce this sweet that is currently popular in Japan. This is Taiwan sponge cake, which is a sweet made by steaming and baking sponge cake dough. It is fluffier than Japanese sponge cake. It is sweet, moist, and has a melting texture. The size is small, so it is perfect for eating while walking around. We will introduce fluffy pancakes later, so please look forward to it. The next store we will introduce is located in the food court. The food court has six stores and is crowded with many customers every day. The restaurant introduced here is Maguro Market. It is a popular restaurant where you can enjoy bowls of rice topped with tuna and other seafood and seafood rolls. This is the dish we eat here. It is a Hawaiian style seafood poke bowl. The rice is topped with finely chopped tuna, salmon, cucumber, kelp, red onion, and avocado, offering a variety of textures. There is a nice smell of sesame oil. The tuna is fresh and the salmon is fatty. The soy sauce has a rich flavor that goes well with the rice. The avocado is creamy and addictive. The portion is large, so just one would be enough to satisfy most people. Next is this store Sumomo Bakery. It is a new bakery that opened in November 2022. It is popular among young people for its reasonably priced bread. This is the bread we will be eating this time. This is beef stew in the bread. Bread crumbs are put on the surface and then baked in the oven so it has a crispy texture. The beef situ has a deep flavor that goes well with the bread. The cheese is also baked on top of the bread, so it gives a nice salty accent. The price is very reasonable for such authentic bread. Next, we will introduce this store, Shiroichi. This is a store specializing in ice cream that opened in 2008. Here we have the ice cream that has become a hot topic on social media. 
It is a long, thin, milk-flavored ice cream. They don't use eggs or butter and only use plenty of milk with high milk fat content, so it gives a rich taste of milk. It has a crunchy texture with a few ice cubes left in it. It's chilly and delicious. It is a special ice cream that is not available at any other store. Next, we will introduce this store, Togoshiya. It is an onigiri specialty store that opened in 2022. The main store is located in Togoshi Ginza, and both stores are crowded with many customers. There are always more than 35 kinds of onigiri available, so no matter what day we go, we will find something new. This time, we chose this particularly popular onigiri. The stuffing is beef and wasabi. The seaweed and wasabi have a nice smell. The price is a little higher than those at convenience stores, but the large size make it worth eating. There are plenty of ingredients inside. The fat from the beef soaks into the rice and gives it a rich flavor. The spiciness of the wasabi and chili pepper is a nice accent. We recommend this store for onigiri lovers. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Chicken Time. This restaurant opened in 2020 and specializes in Korean-style fried chicken. They have a variety of dishes on their menu, but this time we would like to introduce the fried chicken that we particularly recommend. This is freshly fried chicken, topped with a sauce made from a combination of gochujang and mayonnaise. It has a nice smell of gochujang. The size of this dish is large and satisfying. The rich taste of mayonnaise makes the fried chicken even more delicious. The spiciness of gochujang adds a nice accent. The chicken is marinated with spices and medicinal herbs, so it has a nice smell. The taste is different from that of Japanese fried chicken. The next restaurant we will introduce is Nanaya, located about a 10-minute walk from Shibuya Station. Nanaya was established in 1907 and specializes in Japanese teas. Inside the store, there are tea leaves and high-grade teas for sale. The most popular item is the matcha ice cream. There are seven levels of matcha thickness available. This time, we went for the third thickest matcha ice cream from the bottom, which is recommended for first-timers. This ice cream is made with matcha from Fujieda City in Shizuoka Prefecture, which is famous for its tea leaves. It has a refreshing flavor of matcha green tea. One bite, and the flavor of matcha fills the mouth. It has a slight bitterness and is not too sweet, making it a mature taste. Matcha lovers should definitely try the ice cream with the most intense matcha flavor. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Kureoru. This restaurant specializes in takoyaki, and its main branch is located in Osaka, the home of takoyaki. It is very popular because the authentic taste of Osaka can be enjoyed in Tokyo. There are a variety of takoyaki available, but the one we will be eating this time is the most standard takoyaki. It is a simple takoyaki with sauce and mayonnaise. It has a nice smell of dried bonito flakes. The outside is crispy, but the inside is soft and melting. The sauce is thick and fruity. The octopus is larger than at other restaurants and has a nice plump texture. It's nice to be able to enjoy the authentic taste in Tokyo. Next, we will introduce this store, Flippers. Since opening in 2018, this pancake specialty store has had a long line of customers every day. The wait for in-store food and drink could be more than an hour. 
However, this store also offers to go as well. The wait time for to go is about 5 to 10 minutes. The pancakes are just as fluffy as inside serve. Top with a dollop of whipped cream before eating. The sweet smell of eggs and milk makes it even more appetizing. The fluffy pancakes melt in the mouth. It goes perfectly with the sweet whipped cream. The pancakes are thick and look like a large portion, but the texture is light, so one person can easily eat them. It's nice to be able to eat pancakes from a restaurant with a long line at a reasonable price. Next, we will introduce this store, Shogun Burger. It is a popular store where they serve gorgeous hamburgers made from 100% Wagyu beef. This time, we especially recommend this hamburger. We also introduced this restaurant in the Yokohama Red Brick Warehouse in our previous video on Yokohama. We had a cheeseburger at that time, but this time we are going to have a more luxurious avocado cheeseburger with avocado on top. The avocado is topped with a generous amount of tartar sauce. The beef and cheese smell great. The burger is thick and satisfying. The juices from the meat fill the mouth after one bite. The avocado and tartar sauce are creamy and rich. The melted cheese is absolutely delicious. If you come to Shibuya, you should definitely try this burger. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.